the relational database model, or specifically a relational database. What is it? In its simplest form, a relational database is a set of tables. As you can see from the diagram, we have a number of related tables, such as act, show, venue, for a concerts set of tables. A table defines the structure of an object. In the diagram, we see the structure of the venue table or object declared horizontally with one, two, three, four, five fields. Those fields being venue ID, name, city, state, and country. Many objects can be stored in each table as rows or tuples. We can see that the columns or fields declared as venue ID, name, city, state, and country are duplicated as shown by the 10 rows displayed on the screen. These are 10 venues in the Northern California area. So we have seen that the table is two-dimensional in structure. The structure of each row is declared horizontally, and the data rows are inserted into that structure and duplicated vertically. In the relational database model, tables are related to each other by parent-child relationships. As you can see in the diagram, the venue and show tables are related, describing many shows for each venue. This is denoted by what is called the crow's foot. This relationship is actually one and only one to one, zero, or many, which means there can be many shows for a venue, or there can be no shows for a venue, or there can be one show for a venue. Thus, you could have a venue without any shows. How the relationships, or the parent-child relationships, function is that a child table will contain the repetitions contained within the parent object. To describe this in detail, we go into normalization, which we will reach at a later stage. The point to make at this point is that the link is maintained by storing the venue ID in the show or child table, as we can see by venue ID foreign key. What this means is that all shows for a specific venue can be accessed later on by retrieving data from both the tables at once. What does a relational database accomplish? It organizes or allows organization of data and information. It increases the performance or the speed of the database or data access because you can access parts of that information rather than accessing everything all at once. It's easier to search. It allows you to search within specific objects, such as venues or shows, rather than shows within venues all at the same time. It saves space. Duplication or duplicated information is removed into separate objects. Now let's go through some technical jargon. An entity. What is an entity? An entity is the same thing as a table. In the relational database model, a table is known as an entity. The objects on the left are all entities. What is a relationship? A relationship is a link or relationship between those entities. For instance, you can see the relationship between the venue and the show, where the venue ID is stored in the show object or entity. There are many other relationships on this diagram. One that's particularly interesting is the self-join relationship on the category object, where a category can have a parent category. We'll get into that further at a later stage. Attributes. This diagram shows the attributes, once again, in the show table. Show ID, category ID, act ID, venue ID, and show date. A data type. A data type is the map or description of the type of data that's stored into an attribute. A data type can be a character data type, a type data type, a number data type, numerous many different types.